Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I want to speak briefly about the physiology of uh, the cell. And uh, first we start with the structure and function of the cell. Uh, the definition of physiology, physiology means the science which study organ function and have many sub uh, claims that mean other branched uh, science like in neurophysiology the science which study the physiology of nervous system endocrinology the science which study endocrine uh, gland and pathophysiology which study the mechanism of the disease Comparative physiology, that is study the physiology that compare between the function of uh, many different uh, organs and the species. We must know that the main functional unit in a human body is the cell. And we have the modern cell theory. This theory explains the real or the real facts about uh, living cells the first fact is the cell mean the cells and cell product and also the structural or the structural and functional unit is the cell and all activities and function remain to the cell function and each cell is from living cell each cell have precursor cell that each cell each living cell from living cell and all cells have similar composition and metabolic mechanism this is the modern cell theory now we want to explain also briefly the main uh, structural uh, of uh, component of the cell the first we have the cell wall uh, the cell wall or cell membrane and this is a biological membrane that surround the cytoplasm this is the yellow matters and this membrane serve to separate the cell from the other surrounding environments and this is then when explain it this is uh, composed of two by layer level the other uh, structure is the cytoplasm as we say this is the basic ground of the uh, cell where all these organelles were swim in there cytoplasm we have what we call it gold jubadi this organelle this is act as protein storage and carbohydrate this is store the carbohydrate and the protein which synthesis by the cell and also we have the endoplasmic reticulum we have a smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum the mitochondria this is the powerhouse where the energy synthesis and also we have the ribosome here and this organelle the protein synthesis this is here the place of protein synthesis some of it are attached to the endoplasmic reticulum here you see the nucleus this is the central uh, unit or organelle of the cell and it contains the genetic material the DNA and uh, each human have uh, uh, four, uh, 46 uh, chromosome and each chromosome uh, hold uh, 100,000 genes so each cell contain 4 million 600 genes and also here we have the rough 
endoplasmic reticulum and as I say we call it RAF because these ribosomes attached to it also we have other organisms like vacuole lysosome and also the cytoskeleton we have a skeleton that give the cell its shape skeleton we call it and then we want to speak about the membrane the cell membrane if anyone asks you or you hear what is the difference between cell membrane and the plasma membrane it is very simple cell membrane includes all the cell while plasma membrane includes the organelle like ribosome nucleus mitochondria all these organelles enclosed by plasma membrane while all the cell enclosed by cell membrane you see here this is the cell membrane and it's composed of double layer of phospholipid this is by the each layer composed of head and tail this is the head uh, which is uh, hydrophilic head and this is a uh, hydrophobic tail also we have uh, many protein embedded in the uh, cell wall we call it the integral protein these integral protein are strongly associated with the membrane so it's not easy to be detached like uh, uh, carrier uh, receptor uh, receptor channels these are integral protein and also we have uh, peripheral protein sorry we have the peripheral proteins attached to the surface but if this is this uh, protein are loosely attached associated with the membrane so it's very easy to be uh, uh, deattached the main function of the cell uh, membrane is to allow some particle to pass through the uh, uh, it's to enter the cell and uh, an opposite to allow some substance or uh, molecule to leave the cell so this membrane is selective selective membrane it allow uh, some time to molecule and it don't allow other time to other so it is uh, selective membrane we have many ways uh, to offer transportation of molecule via this uh, membrane uh, we have passive transport and also we have active transport the active transport need energy while the passive transport uh, don't need uh, energy like a simple diffusion like simple diffusion simple uh, diffusion the word diffusion uh, mean uh, spread spread diffusion mean spread and uh, in diffusion the rule of movement of uh, particles or articles uh, occur according to the concentration so the particles or molecule move from the high concentration to the low concentration from the they are the membrane from the high concentration to the low concentration while we have facilitated diffusion this this is occur also from the high concentration to the low concentration but we need carrier protein in the membrane other way we call it filtration the uh, filtration is the movement of molecule also from the high concentration to the local but depend on the pressure the hydrostatic pressure of the solute on the cell membrane this is depend on the pressure of the solute as in the occur in the kidney the filtration of blood 
you see here what we call it the osmosis the osmosis the solvent molecule the molecule in the solvent move from the low concentration to the high solvent from the low from the low to the high concentration till equilibrium that is each side become equal to the other side now if anyone asks you questions what is the difference between diffusion and filtration the diffusion is the movement of solvent from the higher concentration to the lower concentration but without a semi permeable membrane like adding sugar in water or salt in water or anything without a semi permeable membrane while filtration it's depend on the hydrostatic pressure and we need membrane that the passage of particle through membrane in the rule of or depending on hydrostatic pressure now we want to speak about the active transport and as i said before the active transport need energy and in the cell the energy is stored as atp adenine triphosphate and it need carrier channels or others uh, way to pass and these to open and close need energy so the atp split to adb adenine diphosphate that it give us one phosphate molecule this is the source of energy to open the uh, channel to allow the molecules to enter or to leave the cell this is the active transport in this way of a transportation we need energy we need ATB also we have a questions What's the difference between diffusion and osmosis? And the same here, the movement of molecule from the high to the low without semi permeable, while osmosis, uh, osmosis also uh, the uh, movement of uh, water, uh, yani solvent, especially water, from the high region to the uh, low. Uh, concentration but they are semi permeable or semi permeable membrane now we want to speak about what we call it the tonicity this is depend on the concentration of the molecule in the solvent as example to be clear here we have what we call it the normal saline this is the saline this is water contain 0.9 percent and ACL this solution is isotonic is isotonic when we give it to the patient or anyone uh, suffer from uh, dehydration or diarrhea uh, to supply it with the fluid we give it also intravenous it must be equal to the concentration of rbc so this is isotonic because the concentration of salt here in the rbc is the same in this solution so the, rem uh, the cell remain in its normal uh, form and in normal shape and it, uh, it become normal while if this solution is hypertonic more than more than 0.9 percent so the water will leave the cell will leave the cell so it will be shrink and if it is if this is is a hypotonic that mean the concentration of an cell lower than this so the water will enter the RBC and which will be explosion after swelling 
Now, if we return back to tonicity, you must understand it like this. So, if it is hypertonic, the water hmm, leave the cell. Leave the cell. And when it is isotonic, there is equilibrium between the water enter and the water leave, so the cell remain normal. If it is, if the solution is hypotonic, the water enter the cell, and uh, then the uh, cell will be swelled and maybe uh, explode. And I think till here uh, we finished our lecture today and uh, thank you very much.